When setting up the Hitting 2.0 unit, you first want to grab the Hitting Monitor. This is the camera part of the unit. You will also have a mount that is included inside of the tank. This mount screws into the bottom of the monitor and should be fastened tightly so it does not move left or right and sits completely flush with the bottom of the monitor. If this is not tight or flush, you might have trouble calibrating. Next, you will grab the Rapsodo computing engine, the RCE. The RCE powers on and will provide the Wi-Fi signal during connection. While turning on, the RCE will start to blink solid green. Once you see three colored lights, this indicates that the RCE is fully powered on. It will likely take 30 to 45 seconds before the RCE fully powers on and displays three lights. Once the lights have all three displayed, grab the red micro USB cable provided with the unit. The USB plugs into the RCE and then the other end plugs into the back of the monitor. Once connected, press the power button on the monitor. You will then see a color combination of green, blue, red displayed on the RCE and a green light on the back of the monitor. Next, you can take the technology and place it inside the tank. First, you will place the RCE in the back of the tank between the metal prongs. Next, the hitting monitor will slide into the tank sideways. The mount will slide into the grooves and you are able to tighten the dial. It is helpful to hold the monitor with your other hand, that way it does not fall out of place and you can adjust it before you tighten it all the way. Next, it is important to make sure you place the cable inside the tank, that way it is not hanging out and could be struck by a batted ball. You should also always slide the back cover onto the tank to ensure that the technology is protected. Now you are ready to set up the Hitting 2.0 unit. It is important that you measure the proper distance every single time you set up. The hitting tank sits exactly 14 feet from the front of home plate to the front edge of the tank. You should measure this each time to ensure that you can get the most accurate and consistent data. Now you are ready to grab the iPad and connect to the device. First, you will navigate to iPad settings and go to Wi-Fi. You will see a Rapsodo hit Wi-Fi signal and you should connect to it. Next, you will navigate to the Rapsodo Diamond app. Once in the Diamond app, you will go to the Play tab. On the Play tab, you will see a gray refresh arrow icon in the middle of the screen. Select this. You will now see that the unit is connected to the app. Next, you must calibrate your hitting unit. Click the device icons in the bottom right hand corner, then select the red recalibrate button. First, you must check that the angles are green and with an optimal range for the monitor. Next, you want to make sure that the red line is going down the middle of home plate. Now you are ready to start your hitting session. First, you must select a player from the left hand side on the roster. Next, pick a session classification based on the type of session you're doing. We have selected T. Once on the screen, you have the ability to turn off the video feature through the iPad camera. Once this has been completed, you are ready to hit and record data. Please feel free to contact our support team. You can send us an email to support at rapsodo.com or you can give us a call at 844 772-7763.